The last important model that we are going to add for now is the movie model. So for that, let us go to Visual Studio. And in Visual Studio for the movie model, I'll just add a new C Sharp class. I'll just go to the Solution Explorer. And then inside the models folder, I'll just right click and then go to add a new class. We are going to name this class movie and then click the add button. But before we type any code in here, let us just go to the web application. So now I'll just go to the movies and then here click the add new. And here you can see that to add a new movie, you need to define a name, a description, a start date, an end date, a price. You have a cinema name, the movie actors, the movie category, the movie producer, and also an image URL. For that, let us now go to Visual Studio and create all the properties that are going to store this data. So in here, let us start with the ID. So for that prop and then int ID. I'll let the data annotation key in here to mark this as the primary key for the movie table and then import the namespace component model dot data notations. And now let us define all the properties. So the first property is going to be the movie name prop of type string. That is going to be just name. Then we have the description. So I'll just copy paste and then change this to be description. Then next we are going to have the price prop. I'm just going to store the price in a double. So I'll just price. Then we have the image URL. So string image URL. Then next we have the start date and this is going to be a prop of type date time. So just start date. We're going to also have the end date. So end date. Can I remove the extra space from here. Then we also have a movie category. So for that, I'll just create a new property. But then instead of defining a type in here, I'm just going to create an enum. And I'm going to name that enum movie category. And then the name of this property is going to be just movie category. Now, let us just copy this name and then just go to Visual Studio. In here, I'll just create a new folder. So add and then a new folder. I'm going to name this folder data because inside this folder, I'm going to put all the data related stuff. Like for example, the enums, the services, the view models, etc. For that, I'll just right click and then go to add. I'm just going to add a class and I'm going to name this class, the movie category. But of course, we need to change the type in here from class to be an enum because we said that we are going to use an enum for the movie category. And then inside the enum, we can define the value. So action, let us say, we have comedy movies, we have drama, and we might have, for example, documentary. Now, if you leave the values this way, you'll see that the action will get by default the value zero. But if you want the action to have the value one, then the action will be one. And the comedy, for example, in this case will be two, three, and four. So basically you can define for the action, the start index and the upcoming ones will be plus one. So let us just save the changes in here and then go back to the movie. And then just import the namespace for the movie category. And that is the etickets.data. And that is the folder that we just created. Now the other properties like the cinema name, the movie actors, and also the movie producer are relational data, which means that we first need to define the relations between all the models before we store these values in the database.